to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be creating another amazing project for Christmas in July week. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. A lot of you guys had so much fun with our project from yesterday. I absolutely love sharing with you guys how to create such amazing little projects in design space with Makers Gonna Learn Elements for Christmas. So I'm so excited to welcome all of you guys back to Christmas in July week. Today we are making a really, really fun project that is for a stocking holder. So not only is it a stocking holder, it's a repurposed two by four piece and everybody has two by fours laying around that they're gonna be able to do this project with. So as you guys are tuning in, as you are getting started, go ahead and leave us some comments. I know we're a little bit early today, so we'll give some time for some friends that may wanna pop over and watch live with us. Whether you're tuning in on Facebook or YouTube, be sure to leave us some comments. Um, but today's project is really fun and I'm really excited. Again, we are using um, pieces of two by four. And then what we're actually going to be able to do today is use uh, a few, one font and a Maker's Gonna Learn cut file. So we're pairing the two together. We're gonna do a little bit of um, Cricut Design Space with contour. Um, so I'm super excited for that. And we get to talk a little bit about woodworking. So we're super, super excited. Jenny Spears, good morning, Jenny. Oh my goodness, I hope you're working and having a great morning. Um, so we're really excited, but Becca, are you, I mean, I love these. You're gonna do a member only Version closer, mm -hmm. closer to the true holiday season, mm -hmm. um, yep. just because they're so adorable. And they're really, I mean, this is like, you could probably make this for what, two, three dollars each? Oh, if that. Right? Maybe, yeah, maybe even less than that. Very affordable. Um, so you guys are gonna get really hyped up for it. And again, it's day two of the Christmas in July sale for this week. So if you're like Tanner, I wanna become the best value year member, go ahead and use that coupon code MAKE at checkout. We are just so excited um, to offer that during this Christmas in July week. And let us know what you're gonna do to get inspired and excited for Christmas because um, it's a really great time to you know, just get real busy worrying about Christmas. Yeah, I want to know how, how about anything else. early do you guys start working on Christmas projects? Like, and we had this conversation yesterday. When do you decorate for Christmas? Are you like a hold out until after Thanksgiving person? Or do you sneak into it before just whenever you're feeling it? Because that's I, me. See, I like, I enjoy, and this might sound a little crazy. I enjoy being decorated for Christmas by Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And here's why. Here in Tennessee, like winter pretty much starts long before Thanksgiving. Like we don't really want the fall. Like it's cold, it's wet. Like I just don't really want that in my life. Like after, you know, September, mid, like after Halloween, I think should be full on Christmas colors because for me, I think Thanksgiving falls in that category. You know what I mean? Two months Christmas, two months fall. That's my, maybe that should be, we should start a justification process. Do you not feel the same? No, I mean, I love, generally will decorate November 1st. And okay, so, so we're I, on the same page. right after October 31st. <laughs> but here's the deal. You get your fall colors, September, <gasps> October. You get your Christmas colors, November, December. That's, yeah. that makes so much more sense. I'm going to be honest, guys. One year, I left my Christmas tree up till July 4th. Stop it. Did you redecorate July the tree? You redecorated it was peacock themed. So it was okay. sort of, they're just so pretty. I just love Christmas decor. So I have I, a friend, Gen is it Jennifer Perkins court? Is it Jennifer Perkins? She has a tree year round. She works with a brand called Treetopia. Uh -huh. She's amazing. If you guys do not check her out, she does or did live streams for DIY network on Facebook. Um, she's amazing, but she has trees all the time and they're extravagant. Easter, Valentine's. I love that. St. Patrick's Day, you name the holiday, summer, like you name it, 4th of July, you name it, she has a tree for okay. it. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Um, and she has house tours, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, Chadwick says, uh, I'm hey, putting Chadwick. my Christmas tree next week. Summer's kind of canceled. I like it. Why not? <laughs> move, move on. We got, we got, there's no way people's canceling Christmas, so let's just move on to that. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of time to work things out. We're not even having to worry with it. Bella's with me. Okay, year round tree. Mm hmm. I love Christmas. I start before Thanksgiving. So anyway, guys, I see a lot of you just tuning in. We're making some two by four really fun projects today. Two by four um, stocking holders, two simple pieces. Each piece I should have measured before the lob. One's um, three and a half and one's two and a half. So three and a half by two and a half, really simple measurements today. 
really clean cuts, just really quick and really simple. Um, after you have them cut, we like to kind of make sure the edges are smooth. So what we recommend is to go through and just quickly sand these edges um, on both pieces, the three and a half and two and a half, okay? Um, so this is how it's gonna be looking. Then after this part of the process, we are going to be able to stain. Now today we are going to um, share with you guys a stain. We've been using quite a bit here in the office. Mm -hmm. um, this is the golden oak. We, as much as we love all of our Minwax colors and everything, whoever got this on clearance at Walmart, uh, Courtney got this at clearance at Walmart, thanks hon, um, for 450, we've been using this bottle, Becca, like it's even going out of, going out of style. Like we're, we're making it really installed, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving it. It's very light. You can still see all the wood grain, which was a big um, debate about the Jacko bean because it was really, really dark. Can't really see the wood grain. But I like this because it's light enough to still see a lot of wood grain, but it's also um, dark enough to where you can pop some really cool colors off of it. So a lot, a lot of fun. My sister decorates a tree for every holiday. That's amazing. After Thanksgiving Day, because Halloween and fall are my favorite. Okay, I respect it. I respect it. Um, <laughs> so much fun. Jenny, even though, like, even for people that host Thanksgiving, I think it should be okay that you're decorated for Christmas I personally already. love going to my sister-in-law's on Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving because she has her Christmas tree. See, I, I think more people, if you talk about it, yeah. I think more people would appreciate <clears throat> already seeing that, those Christmas decorations at Thanksgiving. Like my I house just was... don't love Thanksgiving. I don't know why. I've, I've always had like a bad taste for Thanksgiving, which is horrible because I'm a thankful person. Like, and I love to, you know, but I don't know. I think last year me and you joked and said, we're thankful every day. Exactly. <laughs> but like Christmas decor just makes it tolerable. Just makes, it, makes it so much happy. <laughs> um, and it, it's so much fun. Um, so yes, we're loving it. We are a little early today, my friends. Sorry about that. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good either way. So if you're watching the recorded, please let us know um, in the comments, the recorded comments down below. But um, yeah, so you'll be able to stain this very simply. We have a piece of cloth that we just cut up old t-shirts, old what any type of fabric you have. You can buy these, whatever you want. Um, we just use it to stain. It gives really even coverage. You can always use paper towel, a paintbrush. Um, I really like the paper towel idea. You'll just need quite a bit of that. So lots and lots of fun. And then what you're going to end up with are these two awesome pieces right here. So this right here is going to be the two pieces that after they're stained, give it a few hours, if not overnight, to dry. Okay. Just so that when we do the ironing on of the wood, it's going to go on really well. So we are using HTV today. The best part is that you only need two tiny, tiny pieces for each one of your family members for their stocking. So this one says tan tan and then Courtney's, does it say court court? Or, mm -hmm. says or just court, court, court or just court. I, I love I, any <clears throat> one of my friends. I pretty much turn their name into something else. Um, court court, tan tan, that's why Blake, you can't say Blakey. Uh, you can't say Blake Blake, so you just say Blakey. I, I change up everyone's name. Um, what could I call you, Becca? Becca. Becca. It is the shorter version. Mm -hmm. That's true. But I feel like that's your real name. <laughs> On your company card, when it says Rebecca, I'm like, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> Legality. Well, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to teach you guys how to quickly and easily um, be able to drill through these pieces of wood because sometimes it can be a little intimidating. A little you know worrisome really easy to do this so we're gonna be able to walk through it together so what you're gonna first need is your drill um, and we're going to use just this bit right here to kind of create the um, the spot base for the wood um, so nothing cracks or anything this is a great tip that a lot of times I don't do um, but for smaller pieces and things like that you really want to be careful with. So if we want to go to the overhead camera, I'll kind of give a breakdown a little bit more of what we're doing. Let me zoom in just a tad bit. So this right here is um, our piece of wood. So the smaller piece is right here. Um, and we're going to put the smaller piece on the bottom and the three and a half piece up at top, just like so. Um, but first we need to drill through the smaller piece. So I'm going to use this extra scrap piece to make sure it doesn't go through the tabletop Please be careful about that because I don't know about you, Becca. I have totally drilled through a tabletop before. I've not because I normally put that under there. Yeah. 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 I, I've drilled through a few too many tabletops. Um, so we're just going to drill through. And what do you 
call the hole that we're creating? I know there's a proper name for it. It's a pilot hole. The pilot hole. Yeah, um, don't skip out on the pilot hole, guys. You they're will, really important. You'll crack that piece right into. Yeah. So we're creating our pilot hole. So we just created that hole straight through, just like so. Um, and then we're, what we're going to do is trade this out. And guys, let us know what you're working on. Are you going to kind of have fun with us and go through a lot of these Christmas and July projects? I mean, you could get your whole family ready for, um, you know, being able to have the stockings. Yesterday's gift tags, guys, were so much fun. Um, definitely check those out. If you missed yesterday's live, I think it was a really good one um, and a really practical idea. And you're going to feel really accomplished once you're able um, to do that. So highly, highly recommend. And then we're going to bring in this piece right here, flip it over. Um, and we're just going to line this up how we want it. And then we're going to hold it and see the pilot holes already there. So we just go pop that in there and then be able to continue our drilling. Very simply. And you can add wood glue, but since we're using a screw and not like a nail, um, it will hold it in place. Ta-da! Look at this. Look at this. How adorable. How adorbs. So you're done. So this is a, again, a three and a half by two and a half, two and a half piece of two by four. So this is right here. Really awesome. And guys, if power tools are not your thing, you can totally E6000 this oh, and it, we, it's also good. Yeah. We did this version right here. <laughs> um, we just glued together and you guys cannot even tell we glued it. So there are a few different options. E6000 will take a little bit longer. So mm -hmm. that's something we couldn't really do live with you. That's why we're screwing. And again, if you have never ironed on wood, um, definitely check out some of our other videos on ironing on wood, but we're going to walk you guys through that today. And we're using all our mini products. So we have our little mini easy press and we're using the Cricut Joy for today's project. So kind of, you know, switching it up a little bit. So I'm really excited. Um, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. So yay. Okay. So this is this right here. And now we have this piece. And while we're here, let's go ahead and add our hardware. So just like we did for this other piece, we're going to want to do it for these right here. So these can sometimes look a little intimidating. Don't you think, Becca, for a lot of us, mm -hmm. it can be a little intimidating. Um, <clears throat> so we'll be able to put these in here and we're going to be able to kind of eyeball it and pick the middle here. So. Does this look in the middle? Um, what do you think? What do you think? Pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is take my drill bit, and what I like to do is kind of create some marking holes, and this is just me pressing into the wood um, to create some little holes for me. Okay. Do we have any questions? Mm, nope. Cool. So you can see I've created a hole here. I'll create a hole here. Okay, and then if I put this back here. Ta -da. Okay, so now we can change that out. Perfect. Okay. Love using my mini press and joy. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Catherine, I'm so sorry. I did say that. We totally changed it up. Uh, we were going to do 1030, then my meeting got moved to 1030. So we, we don't know. The, the summertime always can be different. Um, so now we're just going to drill these through these pilot holes again. Oh, thank you. Kat said, loved your DMS photo class, Becca. Just got done watching it. Thank you so <gasps> oh, much. Guys. Hopefully it was beneficial and that you learned lots of new wonderful things that will help you. Yes, we cannot wait to see all your new Etsy listings or Facebook listings. We want to make sure that you guys are able to get all the support needed to be able to sell all of the amazing projects that you get inspired with here at Makers Gonna Learn. So that's why Design Make Sell is such a great program. And if you guys are, have not... Um, been able to check it out. Our webinar, you can sign up for and go through it. Um, and Becca even gave you a little coupon code so you can go straight um, to sign up for it if you haven't been able to already. Um, it's a really, really amazing program. 
and there's a ton of bonuses. So the coupon code is great for um, anyone that wants the pro tier. So it's a little extra savings. So I'm just drilling through this. And guys, when you are going to do this project, feel free to follow along with me. It's hard, the way that those are angled. I know. Is, yeah. <laughs> so do we have, do, 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 do. Is it strip? I'm stripping it currently, <laughs> unfortunately. Do we have a screwdriver or anything that we could use? Or did you just push through? Okay, let's try that. Court thinks we should just pull this out and twist it, but there's no way I can get a grip on it. How, did you just push through and do it? Like, because I was afraid I was gonna damage this piece. Okay. Let's try that again. Go give it some, oh, this is a good idea. So I'm just gonna stick it out just a little bit more. Um, and this should be great. I had it really close. Yay, all good there. And then we're good to just repeat that over here with our other one. Miss Kathy says, I only have a 10 by 12 easy press. Can I do this project using that? A 10 by 12? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I wanna say yes, but let me tell you, let me just be real. Um, and you can kind of take this and decide for yourself. It's really hard to get an even like supply of heat with that larger press. Okay, so that was just interesting. I went in at a little angle. That's a really great tip. So I went in with a little bit of angle for the second one, but after it just kind of went into place and it was really quick. But the only thing I changed was I was able to stick this out just a little bit more because I had it really close. So anyway, that's all the, look, we have this built right here. That was quick and beautiful. Love it. The only process that's gonna take time, guys, is the staining and if you don't want to go ahead and um, drill. You would have to let this dry glue wise like we did for our sample here, but it's still really sturdy. So either way you go, it's gonna be really successful. So really love that. But let's go back to Miss Kathy's question about the 10 by 12. So here is our mini one that we, honestly is probably the best for ironing on wood. We, I mean, we've made large projects that are four feet tall and we use this mini on it. Um, and just because it's such great even heat and it's able to get into nooks and crannies of the wood. So your wood's never perfectly flat. Um, so that can be a challenge. I think you should totally try it, but I don't want you to be upset if you're not able to get everything to be ironed on. If you only have a 10 by 12, maybe just use regular vinyl. Yeah, you could totally use regular vinyl and then just seal it so that yeah. it doesn't peel up. Or, exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is a lot of fun, really easy. And another thing I was thinking about, guys, if you wanted, um, you could take, and you had multiple people in your family, you could do one of these just a larger version. Mm -hmm. So you could make this and have four hooks, space it out and just make it one big one. We kind of like having the multiple little ones spaced out on the mantle, but you could do you know, all of this together just with a two by four running. And if you way. don't have a mantle, it would be a good idea to do like a long one with four different on there Ooh. and then you can hang it on the wall to hang yeah. your stockings or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is really, really, really fun. Um, thanks, Denise. Yeah, I ended up, ended up just needing to do that a little bit. <gasps> Catherine did learn lots. Just started watching Rachel's Mastering Etsy class and learning so much on selling on Etsy. Yay, Catherine. I love it. Anita's loving photography. Awesome. You guys, I'm so glad to hear such great testimonials for Design Make Sell. So anyway, next up, we have built the entire project, which is beautiful. Now we've got to head over to Design Space and we're going to talk a little bit about fonts and cut files and kind of share with you guys some tips and tricks for today's project. So let's go ahead and take a look Oopsie, at that. Yay. So right here, we're in design space. And again, my friends, we have went ahead and created a square to represent what we're working with um, for our little project. So this right here um, needs to be a three and a half um, piece because that's the size of our wood. So three and a half. Um, and then you can change that. You can change it to your wood color. We usually use like light gray colors just to be those bases. Um, and then we're working with two different um, 
product projects today. And we're actually gonna share with you guys how to download your fonts. So we're gonna go over here to Google Chrome and we have this font right here called Open Space. Now again, guys, you do have to be a best value yearly member to have access to our fonts. Um, so you'll want to be a best value yearly member and then you're going to want to download it. Now again, the year membership is on sale today. So if you're not a member, we have a link down below and I, Becca has dropped it here in the comments for you. Um, you can just go to makersgonnalearn.com slash join um, and you'll be able to see everything we have available for you guys um, in the membership. So if you're brand new here today, great time that you're able to come snag a membership for $20 off for this best value. Now, right here, people get confused because we list just the things you get being a yearly member. So this doesn't include everything. These are just year member best value perks. So you're gonna get over, it's not 200 anymore, guys. We have like 400 amazing fonts. We have the commercial license to make money with your machine hand in hand with Design Make Sell, so good. And then you get the three online training classes. So if you're ready to say yes to this, you're going to click get this deal. And all you're going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom and use the coupon code MAKE, M-A-K-E at checkout. Um, and that will save you a $20 discount, my friends. So you're going to go from paying um, $191 down to $171, which is a huge savings in comparison of paying $19.99 a month, which actually ends up being about $239 for the year. So you say yes to this price today and then you're locked in for the entire year, no price increases or anything. So we love that. And then everyday members get access to all of our amazing cut files, which we're playing around with today in the Christmas category. I love, 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 love all of our cut files. And Becca, this is a big thing that people email all the time. They wanna know, can I see some fonts or files before buying the membership? Ooh. So you can see this without even being a member. <clears throat> the link's down below to straight to our Christmas category. Um, so you can check out everything in Christmas. And it's really- All of them. All, all of the them. cut files. Yeah, you can, you can actually see all of our cut files. There's not just a few. So you can personally go through it and make sure that you're going to want to craft with the files we have. So today, for example, we're using this one um, that we're turning this house is under elephant surveillance, which I love. I, I put this on a sign one year and it made me so happy. Um, we're gonna take this file and actually simplify it for today's project. So a lot of people say, Tanner, are your SVGs customizable? Yes, they're very much customizable. Let me share with you what we're doing for today. So we're gonna open the font and just make sure it's downloaded um, right here. We're gonna install it. And then it's just really simple to, um, will resolve automatically because we already downloaded it, it looks like. Um, and we're gonna be able to work with it. And I saw a comment talking about how using the squares um, was the most valuable thing we ever taught in design space. Amen, it is so good, I love that. Um, really handy. Oopsie. I'm trying to move everything. Ta-da, let's move that over. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in our elf surveillance. Just go find that in our recently uploaded. We've been working on all kinds of fun projects. So this right here is this house is under elf surveillance. And then what we're going to do is after you've uploaded this file, you're going to turn off the black, you're gonna turn off the green, and you're gonna be left with the red layer. So you're gonna to wanna to select that. And we're gonna come down here to contour. Well, we're gonna come down here to contour. <laughs> Well, we're gonna come down here to contour and we're going to press and just contour out any pieces that we do not need. FYI, I had to do them over on the right hand. Is that not today. funny? No, like I had the same issue, but it wasn't on this account. So it was, it's just design <laughs> space. Yeah, design space has been special guys lately. I don't know if you all have noticed it. The amount of comments we've gotten in the Facebook group shows that. Um, I think you, I, yeah, I, I did too much. So we're go. I need to... Uh, I think it's down the bottom one, yes. right there. No, no, not that one. The one of, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have this piece. So we love this, right? So this is looking just like this. So we can size it down just a little bit, um, place it down here, and then we're gonna duplicate it. So we're gonna now duplicate this up at the top right-hand corner. And what we're going to do is quickly change out um, 
one of some of these. So we're going to click contour and we're going to now contour out um, the shoes as well to be left with, um, I'm going to get two more of these dots. Let's grab the, the other dots. Perfect. So now we're going to grab these and we can just hold shift and rotate this around. Notice how it kind of holds it really like that. Um, and we may have to do one at a time, which I believe is what we're going to do. Um, so that'll be really good. We're going to duplicate this again. And we're going to come over here to this one and then contour out those pieces. So now we'll be able to change these to green. Let's see here. Change that to green. And then I'm going to flip these back around. Ta-da! So this is how you're kind of able to manipulate cut files um, without having to have too many design skills um, and just be able to do this, you know, in, just straight in design space. These are kind of some really fun little hacks that we've been able to develop over the course of a little, over the course of a few years. Ta-da! And bring these together. So they're still not really great if you want to be as perfect as we were all we're going to do is do them individually so now we'll be able to just click contour and work one at a time and then duplicate okay just like so then we'll line this one up with the foot that it needs to be on which is over here i believe let's rotate it around Do, do, do. I'm trying to see which one lines up better, Becca. Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting <laughs> the last step, Becca. We need to flip it. Um, so we're just going to flip it over and this should line up perfect right here. we rotate it over. Yay. I think that, yeah, that one goes over there. Ta-da. Duplicate that one and flip it horizontal or flip it yes. vertically. So we're going to get rid of this one. So we just had to do some little flips, some little flips. Now we're going to duplicate that and we're going to flip it horizontally. Horizontally. Ta-da. Took us a second and there we go. So yay, we were able to do that. I'm going to move that over. And then the last thing we need to do, my friends, is we need to connect or attach the red. So we had a friend last um, yesterday time in and say, hey, I want to understand a little bit difference about weld and attach. This is a project where you could do either. Um, you could weld or attach. Um, we're just going to attach today. So then we'll select our other red. And this right here so we have three layers and then we're just going to click attach so what that does is now all three of these are together look at that we did a little we totally turned this into a totally new project which is so much fun and now the last thing we need to do is we will have to just take it out and type out the name um, and be able to do that so all you want to do is pick the font which is again today we're using open uh, open space so you can just go right here to open space this one right here is under the fancy font category so open space is under fancy uh, miss pat if you need any help downloading the fonts there's two different places i would recommend you go look so right here you can um go to contact us so we have the contact us and you can give us details on why you cannot download and we'll work to help you with that or before you do that, I would recommend going to dashboard and under member resources, be sure to come here as soon as you join your membership and download all of our resources. So the Maker's Going to Learn printable guide is here and it's a, just a 12 page um, printable that's going to teach you how to download cut files. But after it goes over how to download and get your fonts to work, it is a breakdown of how to work with um, the fonts. So down here is how to download a Maker's Gonna Learn font. You're gonna to wanna to be logged in. 
you're going to go to fonts click download and then this is where it's good to help make sure that you're um, unzipping it installing it and then you're going to have to re in, um, re um, sign into Cricut Design Space. So what I mean by that is you'll actually want to close the program um, then start it again. So just cancel and then reopen so that it can um, go through your font library once again. So Ms. Pat, I hope that helps you helps you there. So Also, are you a yeah. yearly member and not a monthly member? That is a good point. Yeah. So yes, be sure that you're um, the right tier of membership. This is only available to best value year memberships as well. Um, so you do want to make sure of that. Oh, so many bucket lights here. I wonder how many saw your video. I love that. They look, I mean, I will say Becca's cut fall looks the best. Like I, I just, I mean, they're, I mean, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure Elaine knows as well. <laughs> so it's so much fun. So, okay. Now that you're ready to go, what we're going to do is we're just going to be able to delete out these and we have this one lined up right here. Um, so we'll delete out the background and now we have three or two basic layers ready to go. Our red um, is not attached here, so I'm gonna attach the reds together. So let's go ahead and attach um, the reds. And we'll just attach that. So now we have two layers. So we have this, and we'll wanna attach these together. And this is just gonna make everything really easy for us to cut um, with no, no aligning or anything. You'll just pop them together, and it'll be good to go. So. Now we can click make it. And I'm, we're using the Joy today, so I wanna make sure that our, we need to change the machines. I forget they have that. So we're gonna go over here and click Cricut Joy. And we'll click make it. And we're going to work on a mat. So we're clicking on the mat. And then we've got that. We're using HTV today, heat transfer vinyl. So we're going to mirror both layers because we are um, working on wood. So I'm very excited. And then we'll click continue. And we're going to see if we can connect to our joy from here um, with Bluetooth. It's pretty far away. So I'm, yeah, I'm I was curious. saying the other day, my only complaint about a joy. It, it connected. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. That's Some great. days it doesn't, and that I was gonna show you how to work around that if needed. Um, so it is definitely, you know, up to you guys. Um, on if you need it. What was your only complaint that it was? Was too? that you can't you can't plug in? You yeah, have to do Bluetooth, which I like, but it's fine. It's just not preferred. Um, so we'll select our iron on, and we're not using smart iron on. We're just using regular iron on. So we'll just browse through here. Let's go under our favorite. Oh, we don't have any set for the the, the joy. Everyday iron on. Yay. Okay. So now we'll give, um, should we do more? So we haven't used the joy too much. Yeah, I think it would be fine. Default. It's fine. Okay. So now we'll take our little joy mat and we're going to start with our green. So we'll just lay this down. Guys, the joy is adorable. How many of us have a joy? Let us know in the comments. Okay. So we'll just put that on there. Thank you. And then now what we're gonna do is, guys, this is my favorite part about the joy. So let's go to the, let's go to the joy camera. Also, look at what Becca did. Oh my, Aww. so adorable. Becca's just chilling next to the logo. I'm having a dance party. Courtney's, disco, yeah. Courtney's in her own little world. Rachel's painting and Blake, we don't know. Anywho, um, this is the best part. There's no load map button. All you do is that. It's like magic. How adorable. So it now lets you know that it's loading. And the crazy part is all you do is click over here on Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm gonna go back so they can see it. Go back, okay. So now it's already loaded. So you'll go over here and press go. Catherine's printing off the PDF of the last two cut file releases and saw the circus banner. I'm totally doing this today and hanging in on my screen porch. Looks so happy. Exactly, exactly. We love that. Those banners are adorable. That whole cut file oh collection gosh. of banners is so stinking cute. Right. There's some Thanksgiving ish ones that I want to do. Ooh. I don't know if we'll ever get around to it. But <laughs> well, we did just talk about how we didn't enjoy Thanksgiving. I know. <laughs> I think there's a candy corn one, though. Oh, okay. I, 
Am you I making put... that up? Is there a candy corn one? Yeah, it's so stinking cute. So that could be Halloweenish. I don't like to just like hold me over until <laughs> Christmas. Guys, I don't know about you, but like we have so many cut balls coming out or cut balls already on the side. It's hard to keep up. Yeah. Someone, and then someone asked me about a project the other day that was like, where's the cut ball for it? And I was like, I'm not sure. And I was like, wait, it's a font project. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much. Well, and you know, all of us do different ones. It's not like one person is making every for project. Sure, so for it's sure, hard. For sure. Yeah. Um, so that's, that was pretty, that's pretty funny. Um, so now we'll unload it. And then what we're going to do real quick is just weed it. And guys, if you do not weed on the mat with me, please try it just, just one time. And I think it'll, it'll truly sell you on the entire process. Um, we had so much fun. Blake was here after work and we, Courtney and him were working on some really fun projects for his dorm room. Um, and I was like, Blake, you are going to weed this. He's like, okay. I was like, you're, it's, it's going to be fun. Cause he had to do the Spotify project. And if you made the Spotify project, um, it's, it's pretty challenging, but he, he, guys, he really rocked it. Um, we do have a question. It says, I'm not a member yet, but I have a question in regards Ooh. to the air too. Can you do anything with wooden Christmas ornaments, like put them in the machine to write on them? Um, so here's the thing about wood um, and Cricut in general, not just your Explorer to maker involved in as well. Um, you'll want to make sure it can fit underneath your guides um, for it. But yeah, we have some other tools that you can use. Like um, we are memory keepers. Courtney just sent me yesterday, last night. Um, they came out with a new scorch pin for the docketing machines. And I don't know how We Are Memory Keepers keeps coming out with so many amazing products, but every week it's like they're launching a new one. So I'm all for it. Okay, so for the next one, we are just going to put this on the map. And we're going to repeat the same process for our black layer. So to answer your question, I would be very careful of how that is going to work. Um, I'm not too sure. If you have not watched our, if you've never ironed on wood, I highly recommend it. That's what we're doing today. Um, and I think you'll, you'll appreciate it. Okay, so I'm selecting everyday iron on once again. The blade did amazing, so we're gonna leave it at that default pressure. We did put it down at shiny sod um, down because we are ironing on. And I'm pushing it in. Okay, took a second. She's temperamental. She is today. <clears throat> okay, and then we can go ahead and press that go. So it's now going to cut through again. Lots and lots of fun. Oh, I changed Mary to a mat weeder. I love it. I love it. I love it. But um, our friend that has an air too, we'd love for you to consider membership. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Um, because we have so many awesome things for you, whether you have an Explorer Air 2 or, um, you know, any of the other docketing machines. We absolutely love all cricketers here, and we have so many different things. I think we'll save you. <laughs> Excuse you. me. I have not been taking my essential oils for allergies because my week has been crazy. Um, but... Anywho, I'm super excited for all the cut files we have, and I think you will be loving our library <coughs> of cut files as I sneeze to death. Um, but okay, so we've got this right here. Could I have the overhead, my you friend? Can. Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the mini easy press on. We're going to let that preheat to level one. Um, that's 300 degrees, and while that's preheating, what we're going to do to save on um, our ability to create the project, I'm just going to cut this down so I don't have to worry about it. So it's pretty, it's pretty a tight, it's kind of a top project. So we're gonna lay this down here. I like to start with this layer just cause it's kind of the foundation layer. Um, but then what I like to do is take the second one. We're gonna trim it down as well. And then just to make sure spacing's right, I like to pretend, you know, they're already down. Line it up. And just make sure so it's gonna look really great just like so and then i'm going to share with you guys some really great tips for ironing on wood because i love ironing on wood and it gives such great such really flawless results so i'll let you know when that's preheated just like so and again guys today is christmas in july um you have a piece of hgv on your arm did it already go away 
I'm trying to find it. That, it's pretty normal for me. <laughs> okay, so we've preheated to level one, again, 300. Now this is something you want to kind of work with, um, like, like I'm doing here. You can keep it moving, but you wanna make sure to not move it too fast because you could move the HTV. So it's kind of like you move it, but you wanna be careful about it as well. So we're working it in right here. You're gonna notice with the mini easy press, you're not gonna have to do near as much time as a lot of the other easy presses. And see what I mean by this? Like if you had your 10 by 12 easy press, this would not be an easy project to yeah, do. Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt it unless I put the HTV on before I screwed those pieces together. For sure. Yeah. And even then you're gonna lay that platform down and it's not gonna be able to get in there. Right. Because notice when I move it, like I'm able to take it into any you know, nooks and crannies that I can't see bubbles yet. Because right now you can kind of see, we can get the lot. Can you see the bubbles mm -hmm, already appearing? That means it's already adhering to our base. So that's really, really good. Yeah, I would just, I would definitely recommend if you don't have the mini just to use regular vinyl on the project. Yeah, I think you're gonna be sure. a lot happier with those results. For sure. So now you can line this up right here. Okay. Just like that. And now we're gonna repeat that same process. And you can put your piece that you just pulled up back down to protect your HTV. That's totally optional, but I like to do that. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you're definitely not hitting those exposed yes. parts of the of the previous layer. Yes. So now we're just applying this down here. You can work in any of these pieces. And again, 30 seconds, um, you can kind of pick and choose. Some of these smaller letters might be a little bit trickier. I'm gonna give them some extra love. So let us know, have you guys enjoyed using your Joy? Do you have a mini easy press? I feel like they keep coming out with so many other things that you know when we buy them, we're like, okay, we're gonna buy it just to review. And then we're like, okay, we don't know why they came out with it. But then this has been one of our favorite ones that right. we have probably misspoke about. The Joy, not so much. I think we are pretty, um, still have the same thoughts as our other thoughts on the Joy in our Joy comparison videos and things, um, but, you know, we, we enjoy using it for these little projects. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're going to craft with the kids, if you're going to craft in the camper, on the kitchen table, it's, you know, it's a pretty nice little tool to have. So like this right here with our O, I'll be able to give it some extra love and I'm able to get into that certain spot that we need it to. And kind of push that down. And you can let that cool some time got this little piece that needs some extra love as well but yeah if you had just a regular mini like easy press you wouldn't be able to get in there right there no, like hitting it again just would not help right because it wouldn't be able to get that contact so this is different parts of the heat press and things so it's pretty handy look at that oh look at how adorable i love it i love it i love it this is, and what you're gonna love about the heat transfer vinyl is it's just gonna be so smooth and so like unique. So definitely so much fun to make you a little set. These are adorable with the little Elfie. So fun, so, so fun. Joy is great for card making. Tanner, the mini iron-on is the only one, iron eye is the only one I use for all my projects, large and small. Elaine, we're the same way. We're loving that. So much fun. And yes, the first dot, the first script dot on here, I don't know if you all were wondering, is 300. The other one is 350 and the top one's 400, I believe, mm -hmm. because this can use for smaller projects with Cricut and Fusible Ink. Mm -hmm. So you would just go up to that third layer or third temp and you would be able to use it with that. So yay, oh my gosh, I love these little adorable ones. They're so much fun. They're so, so much fun. Um, and yeah, you're gonna be able to rock this for Christmas in July week. And if you're like Tanner, I'm loving these new projects. I wanna see more Christmas in July. We will be back tomorrow um, with another Christmas in July project. And then yesterday we did another Christmas in July project. So if you have not got to check that out, great time to go over and rewatch yesterday's. I love the design space hacks we were doing in that one. Like really, really loved it. And guys, if you are not already a member of Makers Gonna Learn, definitely check out the membership um, link down below, $20 off for best value. As soon as you become a member, head to the dashboard. We have like a 30, 40 page uh, printable guide 
for mastering your machine. Um, temperature charts, what mat to use. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite perks for membership, to be honest, is this right here. Get plugged into the Facebook group as soon as you guys join and ask questions and get inspiration. I mean, there's so many different things to love about membership. Your members get the commercial license um, and you save 20 extra dollars today using the coupon code MAKE for Christmas in July week. So we love that. So yay, Becca, any questions? We've had such a small group today because we went live early, but you know, sometimes I enjoy um, a little bit more personal mm -hmm. personality um, from each of you guys. So thanks so much for uh, hanging out with us today. If you did miss the live because of the change of time, I apologize. Um, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Becca, you're going to be doing a project tomorrow. What are you making tomorrow? I don't know. We still got more to choose from. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for another fun project. Bye, baby.